Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to go about mapping fields on different form types using the Divi Form Builder plugin. So let's get to it. Okay, so basically field mapping is something that you'll be using on three different form types at this moment. It's gonna be for post creation, register, and login forms. Now here I've got a post creation form. You can see that by the post title, the featured image, and then my post body over here. And the idea behind field mapping is that you're creating a link behind the input, like let's say this post title, that will correspond to something in the database. So this will be the post title in the database for that. And then, you know, for the featured image and the body and so forth, if this was a user form, you'd be looking at the password and the username and stuff like that. Now, the main thing to think about here is that you need to have the type of field match to what you're putting in the database. This, of course, is going to be an input because a post title is just text. And then for the image, you are going to need an image field. So if I go into the settings here and go to post title, here we can see I've got an input field. And for the featured image, you can see I've got an image upload field. So that's going to work very well nicely. Now, when we're going through the field here and go back to the post title. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to the mapping options here. And we're going to see a bunch of stuff in here. So at the top, we're going to have the post default. And that's going to be for, you know, those, those default items you'll find in any post, it's going to be the title, the thumbnail, the body, that type of stuff. Then next up, you'll find the post taxonomy. Now those are your categories or any type of tags that you have in there. And this will also be replicated for custom posts, you know, so for example, if you're mapping categories for a product by WooCommerce, that type of thing. And then we've got our ACF field here, which is going to map, of course, to any ACF field that you've linked up to this post type. And then the custom meta. Now this is, you know, for any type of meta fields that you've uh, defined, you could have created them manually or maybe using another plugin other than ACF. You can, you know, use the slug right here. If you open that up to go ahead and define that. Now, depending on the selection you make above here, of course you can see it turned into custom meta field mapping here. You'll have different options. So if instead I go select something like the post taxonomy, you'll see that the different taxonomies come up here and then I can go tag or whatever I want to use there. ACF fields going to ask you for the ACF field that's assigned here. And then just the defaults, this will be post title, for example, since I'm on that title field. And then if I just came to the image, just want to show you that also mapping and defaults, I would just go ahead and select the featured image as we did earlier. And then why not, let's just finish this up by going for the post body, scroll down to mapping, go ahead and select the uh, post content. There you go. And that is that. Now this will be fully capable of creating a new post on the front end of your Divi site. How awesome is that? Now guys, hopefully you can see that this is a very powerful way to put the power in your user's hands by being able to create content from the front end. This post field mapping is an incredible tool to utilize in Divi Form Boulder. So guys, that's gonna be it from me on the Divi Form Boulder field mapping. So if you guys have questions, definitely check out the documentation at help.divienginer.com. Definitely also submit a support ticket with our awesome support team and somebody will help you out if you get stuck. But other than that, guys, we really appreciate you. Thank you for being here and I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye for now.